Eliminate mood swings. How to control your emotions and change negative thought patterns. Subconscious mind control. Introduction. Do you often find yourself going from ecstatic to irritated from one moment to the next without any particular reason? Do you feel as if everything is constantly on your nerves? Are you agitated without due cause? Or, maybe you feel as defensive as a crouched tiger without even having been attacked in the first place? Are your random mood swings causing unnecessary friction between you and your loved ones? If you are reading this, the answer is most likely yes. And at this point, I would like to say congratulations, as you've already taken the most important step you've understood there's a problem, and you are taking steps to resolve it from your own end. By reading this guide, you've already started on a journey to recovery and rehabilitation from this toxic wave of ups and downs. The next most important thing for you to do is understand one basic point it's not your fault nor is it anyone else's. Mood swings happen due to a large number of reasons, and not even a psychiatrist would be able to pinpoint the exact one that's causing problems for you. The reasons for this emotional instability can include a number of complex issues such as unresolved emotional issues, childhood physical, or mental abuse chaotic environments, overly stretched financial obligations, hormonal imbalance, and lack of self-esteem. They could also be as simple as having the wrong diet or just making poor lifestyle choices. This might lead you to wonder how to resolve your mood swings if you can't even pinpoint the exact reason or cause. That is precisely the raison d'etre of this book. We'll walk you through a comprehensive set of exercises that can help reduce and eliminate the emotional extremes in mood swings. This will allow you to regain balance in your life through subconscious mind control and other similarly effective techniques. Get ready to relieve yourself of that constantly combative itch deep within your mind that springs out at the drop of a hat and to finally be free of the dragon crouching on your back. Copyright Copyright 2014 by Mafnel LC all rights reserved. This document is geared towards providing reliable information in regards to the topic and issue covered. The publication is sold with the idea that the publisher is not required to render accounting, officially permitted, or otherwise, qualified services. If advice is necessary, legal or professional, a practiced individual in the profession should be ordered. From a declaration of principles which was accepted and approved equally by a committee of the American Bar Association and a committee of publishers and associations. In no way is it legal to reproduce, duplicate, or transmit any part of this document in either electronic means or in printed format. Recording of this publication is strictly prohibited and any storage of this document is not allowed unless with written permission from the publisher. All rights reserved. The information provided herein is stated to be truthful and consistent, in that any liability, in terms of inattention or otherwise, by any usage or abuse of any policies, processes, or directions contained within is solely and completely the responsibility of the recipient reader. Under no circumstances will any legal responsibility or blame be held against the publisher for any reparation, damages or monetary loss due to the information herein, either directly or indirectly. Respective authors own all copyrights not held by the publisher. The information herein is offered for informational purposes solely, and is universal as so. The presentation of the information is without contract or any type of guarantee assurance. The trademarks that are used are without any consent and the publication of the trademark is without permission or backing by the trademark owner. All trademarks and brands within this book are for clarifying purposes only and are the owned by the owners themselves, not affiliated with this document. Chapter 1, Understanding Mood Swings and Their Effects We briefly mentioned earlier that mood swings can rise out of a smogus bod of reasons and situations. It usually starts from unhealthy ways of coping or dealing with situations which, over time, most likely have become habitual practice. The usual pattern follows swinging between feelings of euphoria to sorrow, anger, depression, 
lack of self-worth, agitation, irritation, rage, numbness, yearning for isolation or a feeling of being overwhelmed all of them usually at slight or mild provocations and without sufficiently warranted causes for each. These patterns usually cause disruptions in your social life. It manifests through things like combative behavior towards others, marked disinterest in social aspects or activities, loss of social etiquette, disinterest in hygiene, shirking of responsibilities, a constant desperate search for comforting situations or objects, and heightened or loss of appetite in times of sorrow. You may feel like you can't focus or concentrate enough, or you may have days with ups and downs that usually end with a headache. You are also probably familiar with a having a lack of empathy towards others, unscheduled naps, becoming overtly touchy or crabby, and other such symptoms. Any combination of a few or all of the variety of emotions and outcomes listed above may apply to you. If you go from one extreme to another and bear negative thoughts towards others and yourself and yes, in most cases it's often both then you suffer from mood swings that may be harming several aspects of your life. Many other people around you are also going through the same problems. Most people in the modern world also exhibit some degree of mood swings due to the tremendous increase in everyday stress and anxiety, therefore we all should be on the lookout for ways to take better care of our mental health. The brain, just like the body, requires some rest and recuperation from stress and anxiety which, when denied, eventually wears a person down and affects them mentally as well as physically. When the range and magnitude of these mood swings crosses a certain threshold to the point that it has become truly disruptive for you and your loved ones, immediate measures must be taken to bring it back down to manageable levels. The great news is that you have already recognized the presence of a problem which is always the hardest part when it comes to psychological dilemmas. Take comfort that the fact that you're reading this guide means that you're willing to do something about it. Give yourself a pat on the back, rest in the knowledge that things are about to get better, and read on four ways to start taking control of the situation. However, here is a bit of a warning before we continue, success will require your utmost devotion and dedication to get through these exercises. Unless you already know the exact cause of your mood swings, I would urge you to do as many of the following exercises as possible and integrate it into your daily life's routine. It is good to remember that this will be beneficial not just for yourself, but also for other people who care about you who might be getting hurt alongside you because of the mood swings. Draw strength from this fact whenever you feel yourself falter or get dissuaded from continuing. The quality of your life and the lives of those around you will visibly improve when you have helped yourself become more emotionally stable. The primary key to resolving this problem is balance, because that's exactly what someone going through mood swings has effectively lost balance in the mental and physical aspects of their lives. Another requirement is the support of a loved one. You will need a measure of understanding to do the following exercises. So communicate with your loved ones, especially if you're in a relationship or live in close proximity with people you care about. Even if you choose not to share the exercises or their outcomes with the people around you, be sure to tell them what you're going through and the fact that you're making an effort to address it. While some people may push hard to become a part of that process, most who care will understand if you express the desire to work it out by yourself. They will appreciate and support the fact that you're attempting to resolve the situation. Chapter 2, Correcting Outward Aspects Exercise 1, Regulate Your Sleep Pattern Out of all the functions in your body, your biological clock is by far the most important yet most underrated of all of them. The function of your biological clock affects your metabolism, heart rate, hormone level and flow, appetite, energy levels, waste management, mental concentration, cognitive reasoning abilities, and much more. Crazy working hours, insane social lives, gigantic towers of distractions, and the laissez-faire approach to mental health have left many of us with the sleep patterns of the mentally unstable. 
insomnia, is both a common cause and symptom for a lot of mental health disorders and with good reason. Humanity is diverse, so although some people can handle and thrive in chaos, others certainly won't. Others may appear to be coping and maintaining healthy mental attitudes, but they are probably manifesting weariness in other ways. Even if you have been handling stress effectively all your life, your mind and body may be telling you now that it is time for change. One of the first things you can do is set a sleeping routine for yourself that you will stick to no matter what. Stop taking naps during the day. Go to bed at night and wake up at the same time every day. You must stick to your routine without excuse from now on. Give yourself a full 8 hours of sleep, so that you have enough energy to get through the day. This also eliminates the risk of sleep deprivation. If you usually sleep with music playing or with the television on or if you leave the lights on switch it all off and sleep in a dark room. This way your mind isn't constantly working and can rest without distractions. This exercise is non-negotiable. Exercise 2, stop drinking coffee, alcohol, etc. Cut out all traces of carbonated sodas, sweetened juices, coffee, alcohol, etc. from your daily diet. Keep in mind that caffeine, sugars, and alcohol are all mood-altering substances. Instead, Start experimenting with natural teas to figure out flavors which you can enjoy throughout the day. With hundreds of different varieties, there are sure to be combinations which please your palate while keeping you pleasantly relaxed instead of hopped up. I personally prefer having a slightly sweet and light black tea with cinnamon and almond shavings in the morning, a cup of black currant and berry tea after lunch and a green tea with lemon after work at night. Experimenting with tea could even develop into a new interest for you. Who knows what you may come up with as you play around with varied flavors. You will also find that there's a very good reason why tea drinkers seem so much more zen than coffee drinkers. If tea isn't your thing, you can opt for freshly made fruit or veggie smoothies and juices and experiment with flavors in your blender, no, bacon will not make them better. The internet was wrong. Exercise 3, Clean up your daily food intake. No one's asking you to go vegan and personally, I believe, that diet comes with as many problems of its own. However, balance is important in your food intake. After all, you're fueled by what you eat. Cut back on fried food and sweets. Preferably remove them altogether from your diet if you can. Switch to whole grain foodstuff and add more greens to your meals. The better you balance your diet, the more energetic you'd feel during the day, and the less you'd reach for mood-altering sugars and other such substances. Also, consult your physician about including vitamin and mineral supplements in your daily diet as mood swings could also be the result of certain vitamin deficiencies. Changes in one's diet can also address hormonal imbalance, which is another common cause of mood swings that can be easily resolved. Your physician can also help determine if adding hormone correcting natural foods to your diet will help. Exercise 4, Get Your Exercise On Dedicate the first half hour of your day to exercise. Arrange your sleeping routine and wake up a little earlier so you always have time for exercise upon waking up. Exercising to stay fit first thing in the morning will not only give you more energy for the day, it will also wipe away those lethargic blues and give a boost to your self-esteem as well. Instead of lifting weights, dedicate your time to some light spot jogging, aerobics, push-ups, pull-ups, rope skipping, etc. These should get your cardiovascular system in shape, tone you up, and promote a healthy appetite. More importantly, they will also release endorphins that will lift your mood the natural way from the inside. Exercise in an area that allows for morning sunlight, if possible. Exposure to sunlight can combat depression-related mood swings as well. A simple exercise you can do is to balance standing on one foot for five minutes while lifting your other foot is up behind the knee of the leg you're standing on. Do the same with the other foot for another 5 minutes and repeat this exercise a few times a day. 
While this exercise may sound a bit silly, ancient esoteric orders of monks have used it to foster physical and mental discipline for millennia. The practice states that an unbalanced mind cannot maintain the discipline needed to keep its balance for any extended period of time without falling down. Thus, you would need to push all mental distractions aside and find your Zen spot if you hope to do the seemingly simple task of balancing on one foot for five minutes at a time. This is one of those physical activities where a mental shift is needed to accomplish it successfully. For as little as 10 minutes daily, you can learn to effectively regulate and control your emotional extremes. Exercise 5, Clean Up Your Environment Stress-related mood swings can easily arise from an unclean or chaotic environment. The simplest way to dealing with this is to dispose of things which you no longer need or haven't used in the last six months. Clutter and the feeling of being stuck in an unbreakable cycle of cleaning up can be frustrating and may largely contribute to a feeling of being constantly off balance. Try a few minimalist living tips and adapt them to your needs for the best results. No one's asking you to live in a skeletal household, but most houses are full of stuff that exists simply because one is expected to have them, rather than these things actually having a practical purpose. A clean environment helps reinforce clean mental functions as well. Plus, the time spent constantly cleaning these expendable items may be used more profitably elsewhere. A healthy mind resides in a healthy body this is not only an age-old axiom but is also an unshakable fact of life. As such, these physical exercises will form the backbone of all your other efforts. Chapter 3, Daily Activities to Eliminate Mood Swings Exercise 1, Maintain a Daily Diary or Vlog Before we start, you should know that this journaling activity is strictly meant for your eyes only and is not to be shared with anyone else not even a loved one until you feel the desire to do so. This is not an opportunity for you to construct feel-good scenarios or create a picture of what you would like life to be but rather a place for brutal honesty. Towards the end of each day, dedicate 25 minutes to chronicling your day either in the form of a written diary or in the form of a recorded vlog on your computer or laptop. Shut yourself away in a quiet environment, your bedroom or even your bathroom would do if you live around a lot of noise. Once there, recount the ups and downs of the day. In 12 minutes. List and evaluate the reasons for your emotions during the day in as much detail as you can. Recollect as many of your thought patterns as you can remember to see which may have led to your highs and lows. If you felt happy about something, ask yourself why. If you felt sad or angry, ask yourself why. The point of this exercise is to strengthen self-awareness. The next part of this exercise is to try and forge links with past events. Many people suffer from mood swings because their daily stress has eroded their coping capabilities to a point of hypersensitivity. In such a state, a person reacts to a situation because it reminds them of an event which happened long before which, although was nothing like the current event in terms of circumstances, reasons, or outcome, still managed to strike a similar chord. In such a case, the people involved with the current situation become a venting outlet for the pains of the past. This is common in people who have a difficult time in letting go of past wrongs and prefer to suppress them instead. Trying to find the link to your reactions with past events will help you figure out issues that you should have let go of but haven't. This will also provide a psychological framework that will allow you to list and work on the issues you've ignored when they manifest themselves. Once you've recounted your day, spend the next 13 minutes going through your previous day's record. In this exercise, there will be a lot of temptations to lie to yourself or give it up after a day or two. Excuses for quitting will throw themselves at you and it will be tempting to tell yourself that there are more important things to do, but do not give in. This exercise is as important as it is hard. This exercise will not only show you if you're feeling better or worse, but may also help pinpoint the exact cocktail of reasons behind your mood swings and whether internal, your own thought patterns, or external, your environment. 
it will also force you to police yourself throughout the day and establish healthier coping patterns for situations that were providing you with excuses to fly off the handle in the past. Since people naturally wish to do better at whatever they attempt, it will force your subconscious mind to start operating in ways which would give you better outcomes to report in your vlog or diary at the end of the day. Your desire to do better than the previous day would place goals in your mind to force your subconscious tendencies along better and healthier paths. Exercise 2, Find a Creative Outlet This is a vital exercise, especially if you're the kind of person who finds it difficult to express your emotions or innermost thoughts to anyone. Again, work with the mindset that this is for your own eyes only. When you consciously tell yourself that you are not trying to please an audience, you can allow yourself to be more truthful in expressing yourself. You can still show it to others later on should you so desire. Also, you don't have to be extremely talented at whatever you pick, it just needs to be something you enjoy. Most therapists suggest taking up art as a form of therapy since it sharpens several critical skills that can help resolve mood imbalances. You could start with sketching or model building, but forms of painting would be the most highly recommended art for you to take up to best address your mood swings. Spend half an hour every day on your artwork. Even if you can't finish it in that time frame, come back to it at the same time the next day. When you finish a piece once in every few days, start a new one straight away. Keep your artwork completely private. You can use it to bring any subject to life, and it's very much recommended that you choose subjects you enjoy working on. Again, the point here isn't for you to be as good as Picasso, but for you to enjoy whatever you're doing and use it to bring your thoughts and emotions to life in a positive way. You could also try writing original songs of your own. You can also consider indulging in making your own poetry. Haikus are highly recommended since their structure allows for creativity while aiming for brevity, and their rules provide a rigid cognitive framework wherein the writer has to focus and deliver the nuanced meaning that they wish to emphasize. Exercise 3, Read Every Day Short articles and other reading material don't count for this exercise. Pick up a novel and read through a few chapters each night before bed, or pick out long articles on the internet. Not only is this exercise informative and educational, studies have shown that longer reading material helps put off problems with focus and concentration which sometimes go hand in hand with mood swings. Picking up entertaining or interesting reading material also helps offset stress, which may be another reason behind mood swings. People who deal with mental stress every day or whose profession requires excessive cognitive work will definitely benefit from this change. Reading allows the mind to relax and absorb material other than that which it is forced to review for several hours at a time every day at work. Doing this before bedtime will allow you to shift your mental gears and unwind before sleeping, which will allow you to sleep better and feel fresher when you wake up. Exercise 4 Breathing exercises. Breathing exercises help you calm your center and bring more meditative balance in your daily routine. After your daily morning exercise routine, sometime while cooling down before breakfast, perform some breathing exercises. The internet is full of helpful guides that can make it easy to identify what sort of breathing technique would work best for your time frame as well as those which would help you address your specific mood problems. Breathing exercises also promote more oxygen to the brain, help you relax and energize before starting your day. A healthier mindset with which to start one's daily grind can help manage the stress and chaos in one's environment. Chapter 4, The Best Mental Methods to Eliminate Mood Swings Exercise 1, Be Your Own Thought Police The ups and downs of mood swings are tricky to track even though they all arise from your own thoughts. These thoughts zip across your mind far too fast for you to form a conscious link between origin and conclusion, and you're mostly only aware of a few highlights in between before you reach the end of a thought. In some cases, these thoughts don't even occur one after the other. 
one may occur before breakfast while the other may occur in the evening, but the overall chain upon its conclusion still leads to an unwanted emotional extreme like rage or depression. In such a case, you need to be your own thought cop. Just because you've reached a particular conclusion doesn't mean you're correct, nor does it mean that you have correctly understood the situation or are formulating a suitable response for it. The best way to deal with this is to leave aside the assumption that your loved ones or people around you in general are doing something to hurt or annoy you even if you think you may know of a cause. If your mind is set upon a path that you recognize as leading towards negative thoughts, consciously stop it in its tracks and put it off until you can talk to the concerned person about it. Always choose to communicate and clarify as your first step in resolving stress or conflict. Don't take any conclusion reached by your mind as the de facto answer just because you're the one who thought it. Instead, treat every thought as if you were dangerously drunk. Try and figure out by communicating, either by voicing your thoughts to someone else or talking out loud, if your hunches or chains of thought are correct, rather than you simply giving in to the ensuing flood of emotions. Whenever you feel yourself heading towards negative emotions, Take a deep breath and cut them off. Stop whatever you're doing, and take a 15 to 20 minute break to do an activity that usually cheers you up. Once you feel like the flood of emotions is abating, attempt to go through your thoughts critically and logically once more. It is likely that although you think you had a good grasp of objective reason during the time, your overwhelming emotions influenced your thoughts more than you realize. If you feel like you're getting close to an outburst, stop talking immediately and screen every sentence you want to say mentally before you say it out loud. Every time you say something, question its value and ask yourself if you are contributing worthwhile information to the conversation or if you are just giving in to your feelings. While this exercise will be extremely difficult for the first few days, it'll eventually get easier. Over time. This behavioral change will force a shift in your thought pattern and mental processes and reduce your mood swings, seeing that you would have stopped blindly giving in to them in order to accomplish this exercise. Exercise 2, Visualization, Create Your Own Haven. While this section will provide the basics of this exercise, you will need to supply the details into the picture based on what feels right for you. Start practicing this exercise for a few minutes on a balcony, terrace, or garden. It can also be any other place around the house where you can get some fresh air. Once you've done it a few times, remind yourself to do it every time you feel like you're losing control. Start by standing up, at a safe distance away from railings if there are any, with your feet shoulder width apart. Let your hands hang comfortably by your side. Keep your back straight, and raise your face towards the sky. It's even better if you can see the sun from the place you've chosen every morning. Close your eyes and picture yourself on a raised rock in the middle of clear plains. The plains run along the sides of a mountain range, and greenery and mountains surround you as far as your eyes can see. It's a beautiful day with a few clouds, and the air smells crisp, fresh, clean and invigoratingly cool. Raise yourself slightly on your tiptoes and raise your arms wide as if welcoming the sky into your embrace. As you do, happily take in a deep lungful of fresh air with a smile on your face, as if you're greedily trying to suck it all up through your nose. Once you've reached your limit, exhale while lowering your arms and letting yourself back down off your tiptoes. Do this a few times and feel the ball of negative emotions and feelings in your gut and chest melt away and flow out with each exhalation. Once you feel a little lighter and happier, discontinue the exercise until the next day. Make this your place of escape and fill it with details you would personally love. Select the kind of flowers which would grow on the plains and whether or not the mountain tops are ice capped. You decide if you want a pleasantly cool breeze continuously flowing across your face or if there are waterfalls running down the mountain sides. Do you see a flowing river from your vantage point? Maybe a rainbow from a distant train shower? Visualize each detail clearly and burn each sensation like the sounds of the wind, 
birds and river, the feel of the cool breeze coupled with the pleasant warmth of the sun on your face, the rejuvenating smell of the mountain air, etc. into your brain. Whenever you perform this exercise, reinforce the same sensations and whether you actually feel it or not. Force your brain to accept that it's receiving the same signals each time, until they can be conjured without too much thought. After practicing with visualizing the scene for a few days, so much so that you are finally able to easily summon it in your memory to lighten your mood, call it to mind any time you feel emotional swings or negative thoughts are getting the better of you, and use it to return yourself to a calm, peaceful point from which to start again. Exercise 3, Make Your Own Self-Hypnosis Tape Creating a self-hypnosis tape is very simple. Record 8 to 10 sentences on your computer, laptop, or phone, or ask a loved one to do it for you, with affirming content like, you are a strong, beautiful, intelligent, capable person. You remain calm and clear-headed in the face of problems, or you are a beautiful and intelligent person who solves problems rationally. You remain calm and energetic through the day. You love spending meaningful time with your friends and family, etc. Structure the sentences in positives instead of negatives, and you can also throw in a few of your favorite inspirational quotes. Avoid the use of do nots like, you do not get angry or sad without reason, and use do statements instead. You can also add sentences to take care of addictions you are struggling with. Record 8 to 15 such sentences and use audio software to loop them over and over again to give you a few hours worth of audio. You can also add some soft, relaxing music in the background to help you sleep better. This will make you even more susceptible to hypnosis and therefore make the exercise far more effective. Make sure that the voice on the recording is calm, soothing, and confident. You need to believe in what you're saying in the recording to drive the point home while you're asleep. Once this is done, transfer it to your smartphone or use an audio player with headphones to play this through the night while you sleep. After a few days, you will see this exercise taking effect and you'll find your subconscious mind obeying your own commands slowly but surely. This will also be particularly effective if you ask someone whom you trust and value to make the recording for you. This person has to be someone you can listen to without too much fuss or questioning and whom you trust implicitly. Within a few days, you will find your mood swings far easier to maintain and manage, your self-esteem will be on the rise, and you'll find the extremes in your emotions tapering off more smoothly. Chapter 5, When to Approach a Therapist If you've tried all the exercises listed above, faithfully and with complete devotion, and you still seem to be suffering from mood swings without any relief whatsoever, then it may be time to change your approach to the problem. For a small group of people who attempt the exercises here, the mood swings may be more than just a phase. It is possible that the condition stems from legitimate neurological issues. It may also be that the psychological roots which are creating these issues are too deeply entrenched into your mental processes that the help of a qualified professional is needed. Another reason may be that the hormonal imbalance causing these problems are a little too acute to solve through natural means and may require intervention by a licensed medical professional. While it happens to a relatively smaller percentage of the population, that still includes a hefty number of people if we keep the total global population in mind. In such a case, it's important that you consult a qualified professional as soon as possible. To some, there is a stigma attached to approaching mental health care professionals. It is thoroughly antiquated and pointless to hang on to such a useless socially oriented stigma in this day and age where people include yoga and naturopathy in their daily activities in order to ensure a holistic approach to the management of their well-being. Although a lot can be solved by watching your daily diet, stress levels, and environment and by inculcating mind-body practices, some issues still require medical intervention to resolve. It would be highly negligent towards ourselves and to those around us if we ignored that responsibility after we've tried everything from our own end in an effort to find a solution. Conclusion 
Mood swings are a very common occurrence that can affect both men and women. They rise from a variety of social, psychological, neurological, or physiological roots and may come and go in phases. For the vast majority, the exercises outlined above are guaranteed to break you out of the vicious ebb and flow of emotional swings as long as you follow them to the letter. Just as you'll need strength and dedication to correct these issues and rid yourself of the toxic effects of mood swings, your loved ones will need strength, endurance, and patience to help you through. It is important that they know when to support you and when to give you space. If you wish to break yourself out of the mood swings, you should also push yourself out and about more than you care or want to in your current frame of mind. Force yourself to seek out social situations and figure out new ways to interact with more people than you normally would. It also helps to write or print out inspirational quotes and stick them in places where they'd be the first thing you see when you open your eyes in the morning. The objective is to keep your emotional highs while tapering off the crushing depths of the lows so your life can be happier overall. While the time required to eliminate mood swings through these exercises will vary from person to person, if you find absolutely no relief after doing the exercises for a month or so, it is highly recommended that you seek help from a licensed medical professional without delay. Finally, I'd like to thank you for downloading this ebook. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd take a moment to leave a review on Amazon. Thank you.